Okay. Is it still morning? No, it's afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. Um, I had a another one of those kind of mental fireworks moments uh, while reading the Bible. Uh, I sent this beautiful um, day to day, beautiful uh, uh, Shabbat here of you know full sun, uh, nice and warm outside, and we got the we actually got the doors open and getting some fresh air in the house, so it's really a beautiful day. And I was reading uh, 1 John, 1 John, and was taken by a word, you know, I was, I was kind of like, okay, what does this really mean kind of thing, and, what, and um, making sure, do I, am I understanding this the way I think I'm understanding it kind of thing. So, um, um, so it was 1, 1 John chapter 4, I'm going to start with verse 6. Um, uh, verse 6, we are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. And this is, you know, the Apostle John. Um, whoever is not from God does not listen to us. So you can kind of see, well, that's going to be like, you know, the Pharisees and the uh, Sadducees and, and the teachers of the law and all that stuff like that. Um, you know, the scribes and stuff. That is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of deception. Verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another because love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. And um, so I was looking at verse 7. So I, I went into the... Uh, interlinear for that and um so it goes agapitoi agapomen alelus this so says beloved we should love one another um hoti he agape ek tu theo esteen uh and that one is because love agape from God is so you know so love comes from God or or love, or love is from God and um and then it continues on uh, and everyone loving from God has been born and knows God so the the born the 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 word born here is uh Gegenetai, I think it's or something like that. Uh, and this is uh, Strong's number 1080. So this is uh, Strong's Greek 1080. And when you go to that one, um, it says, uh, you know, it's from the root uh, geneo or uh, gena, genao something like that, to beget, to bring forth, which, you know, obviously, you know, born. But here's the kicker. If you go down a little deeper, they got this, uh, this is on uh, BibleHub.com for um, uh, Greek 1080, Geneo. So if you scroll down a little bit, they have this little section here called Theos Greek Lexicon. And there was something in there that was quite interesting. Um, so kind of like definition one, uh, properly, of men begetting children, um, followed by ek with the genitive of the mother, something uh, more rarely of women giving birth to children. Um, um, but there's this other section too, which is which talks about metaphorically. So, because, you know, obviously Jesus isn't talking about literally, i got to check the time here, so how am I doing? Okay. Um, it's, it's not, he's not talking about, you know, literally being born again. And, and we'll kind of touch on that in a little bit here, but so he, here's what it says, uh, metaphorically, metaphorically part a universally to engender, to cause, to engender, cause to arise, excite. Um, then part B, it says in a Jewish sense, 
this is the one that really uh, caught my eyes. So in a Jewish sense of one who brings others over to his way of life. Okay. Because remember, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So, so it says here, in a Jewish sense, of one who brings others over to his way of life. Um, and then it says here, uh, Sanhedrin's folio 19, comma 2. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's like Mishnah or, or something like that. But it says in it, that, that's quite uh, interesting. If one teaches the son of his neighbor, the Torah, the scripture reckons this same as though he had begotten him. So, you know, uh, I say if I, you know, teach uh, the son of my neighbor the Torah, it's as if I had begotten that son, even though I didn't, you know, genetically beget that son. But because I taught him the Torah and that and that son, um, you know, go back to, um, you know, to the beginning, it says in a Jewish sense of one who brings others over to his way of life. So. Um, so, you know, so when, so then that's basically how you make a disciple, um, a, a disciple of Jesus. Um, cause he says, I am the way, the truth and the life. So the truth that is the way is the truth and the life. And these three things are, are really important to, to, um, to get into. I got to check the time again here. Okay. I got six minutes. Um, okay. So, um, I went to... Then I remembered Nicodemus, the, the encounter with Nicodemus and Jesus. And in John 3, verse 3, Jesus replied, Truly, truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. So I looked that up the, where it says born again. And it's the exact same word, Greek 1080. That means to cause uh, someone to come over to your way of life. And so, and, and Jesus being the way of life, you know, the truth, the way, the truth, the life, uh, John 14, 6. Uh, then he continues on. How can a man be born when he is old? Nicodemus asked. Can he enter his mother's womb a second time to be born? And so, so he's making the, um, he's, you know, taking the literal, and, and Jesus is going to make a point, this is a metaphorical thing. So it's that metaphor of of begetting someone by causing them to, you know, come into your way of life. Truly, truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and spirit. Flesh is born of flesh, but spirit is born of spirit. Do not be amazed I that I said you must be born again. And so the, the inner I'm going to check my time. I only have 10 minutes. Uh, okay, so I'm going to fast forward here to, um, okay, so, um, so just as, verse 14, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that everyone who believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only son. And this is the verdict. The light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come into the light for the fear that their deeds will be exposed. And here's the kicker. Whoever practices the truth comes into the light so that he may, so it may be seen clearly that when he, what he has done has been accomplished in God. So whoever practices the truth, it shows that they, whatever they have done has been accomplished in God. So there you go.